Item number SCP-2730, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2730 is contained in a standard humanoid containment cell in Site-42. The Gilbert Godfrey in the public eye is a biological facsimile that must be monitored by covert detail at all times. The mask made of Gilbert Godfrey's skin is currently in cold storage in the Site-42 Biotechnology Laboratory. Skin coaches from the mask are to be harvested and used to generate biological facsimiles of Gilbert Godfrey via the Lilith Protocol. When the current active facsimile of Godfrey begins to degrade, it is to be discreetly terminated and replaced by a new facsimile. If the current facsimile dies before degrading, such as by a heart attack or car crash, no further external protocols are required. Description SCP-2730 is a mallet-like humanoid that humans perceived to be the American actor and comedian Gilbert Godfrey. This perceptive effect extends to the naked eye and ordinary camera viewing. Sonar, infrared, and thaumaturgic viewing indicates that SCP-2730's true form is that of a human-sized mallet. It has webbed feet and abnormally long and cylindrical wings with tumor-like protuberances for hands. SCP-2730's head is mostly similar to that of a normal wild duck's. Although the beak has been severely deformed and forced against the cranial facial area to simulate a nose and mouth. DNA samples taken from SCP-2730 indicate that it is a member of the mallet species. SCP-2730 was initially discovered in 2005 during filming of the documentary The Aristocrat. The actor Beep was being investigated for anomalous properties. However, sonar and infrared analysis inadvertently revealed SCP-2730's anomalous status instead. SCP-2730 was quickly taken into custody and replaced with a biological facsimile. Note, this procedure, while unorthodox, was adopted for the purposes of testing in development biomedical and surveillance technologies in a real-world setting. It is unclear how long SCP-2730 was imitating Gilbert Godfrey. At the time of capture, it was found to be wearing a face mask made of skin designated as SCP-2731 that enabled SCP-2730 to resemble Gilbert Godfrey. Analysis of SCP-2731 indicates that it is genetically identical to the real Gilbert Godfrey. Note, DNA testing was accomplished with the sample of Godfrey's semen acquired in 1985, the last known point when he was confirmed to be alive, and was at least 10 years old in 2005. Addendum Interview 2731 this interview was taped using both a regular and an infrared security camera. Date, July 16th, beep. Interviewer, Dr. Rothfuss. Begin log. Good morning, I am Dr. Rothfuss. If you cooperate with me, I can shorten your stay here and make sure your time spent here is as comfortable as possible. Do you know who I am? I'm Gilbert Godfrey. I demand to see my lawyer. Why were you pretending to be Gilbert Godfrey? Pretending? What the hell do you mean? You have no right to keep me here. Rothfuss opens a laptop on the table and turns it towards SCP-2730. It contains real-time footage from the infrared camera in the interview room. SCP-2730's true appearance is clearly visible. You are a duck pretending to be Gilbert Godfrey. Please cooperate. I want to help. I'm the real Gilbert Godfrey! If you tell me the truth, then I can let you go. How are you able to make yourself look like Gilbert Godfrey? Because I am Gilbert Godfrey! There is no point in lying to me. I'll keep going. Why are you pretending to be Gilbert Godfrey? Why are you pretending to be Gilbert Godfrey? Where is the real Gilbert Godfrey?
where's the real Gilbert Godfrey? Maybe I'm a duck, or maybe you're a duck. Excuse me? At this moment, the camera feed is disrupted for two seconds. When the feed resumes, the infrared feed shows SCP-2730 as Gilbert Gottfried, while Rothfuss appears to be an instance of SCP-2730. SCP-2730 turns the laptop back towards Rothfuss so he can see the feed. How do you do that? It clear to me now, you're a duck. You're trying to trick me into becoming a duck. Please, don't try to trick me. How do you do that? I won't go back. Oh, don't try to pull me back. Hey, but it's going to be you now, won't it? Since you're the duck. I'm not a duck. My name is... is Edward Ruffus. You're a duck pretending to be Edward Ruffus. Have you done something to me? The better question is, what do you do with a real Edward Ruffus? I'm the real Edward Rodfuss. Security, please be advised. I think I've been compromised. Tell me the truth. What do you do with a real Edward Rodfuss? Nothing. I am Edward Rodfuss. How are you going to make yourself look like Edward Rodfuss? Because I am Edward Rodfuss. Prove it! Take off your goddamn mask and show me that you're the real Edward Ruffus. Dr. Ruffus puts his hands to his face and is able to peel the skin of his face away. As the skin peels away, Ruffus is revealed to be an instance of SCP-2730 on the non-infrared feed as well. At that moment, an on-duty security team enters the room and terminates the interview. Addendum Following the offense of interview 2731, Dr. Ruffus was designated as an instance of SCP-2730. Due to his positive history with the Foundation, Ruffus has been allowed to keep his instance of SCP-2731 and remain in Foundation employ as a Class E personnel with Level 2 clearance. Note, in accordance with standard humanoid containment protocols, Rothfuss has been implanted with a subdermal GPS tracking chip.